Victoria Beckham's look is so classic yet with a modern twist to the point where she tied the knot in 1999 and this dress is still relevant today. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. My name is Crystal. I am the Creative Director for Casablanca Bridal. I'm Fashion Historian Kimberly Christian Campbell. This is Designer Dresses Deconstructed. Today, we are deconstructing Victoria Beckham's wedding looks. Oh my God, this I love. I feel like it is so on trend with what's really popular and just completely resonates with modern brides today. You could absolutely wear a dress that looks like this and look totally present with the times. I got married in 2001 and it was very hard to find a dress that wasn't strapless because they were so popular at that time. And this was one of the first celebrity wedding dresses that, that was strapless. I think Victoria Beckham's wedding dress is the perfect example of how the corset trend actually dates back before the release of Bridgerton once upon a time, a strapless dress was considered very controversial. In the 50s, strapless dresses were very trendy, but brides were advised not to wear them or to wear them with a jacket or a shawl if you were going to get married in the church. I think it's taken just a long time how we've slowly become more confident in embracing our feminine sexuality. So it makes sense that the corset, which has strong lingerie elements, is now super empowering for women just to be able to integrate into their everyday wardrobe and is a manifestation of underwear as outerwear. Victoria Beckham is wearing a ball gown by the fabulous Vera Wang. Looking at Victoria Beckham's wedding look more closely, I noticed this necklace that she's wearing, which was gifted to her by David Beckham. In theory, anybody can wear a tiara. Victoria Beckham certainly wore one for her wedding. But traditionally, it has been something associated with queens and with royal brides. I typically recommend going for a bare neck because it becomes too many elements. Having something on your head, on your neck, your dress, your bouquet, it's like too many things happening. My favorite part is the pointed cat eye neckline. Underneath the dress, she has a tightly fitted corset by an English corseteer, Mr. Pearl, and her petticoat underneath actually contained 50 meters of Duchess satin, which is this really beautiful, elegant fabric primarily used for couture bridal gowns and is most notably distinguishable from other forms of satin because of its higher thread count. The purple ensemble that Victoria Beckham wore for the reception with uh, gladiator sandals had a high split up one side. It was a great option for the dance floor. It didn't translate so well to menswear. I hope you can find a picture of that. There aren't many around, but it's pretty hilarious. A bride who opts for a dress like Victoria Beckham's is definitely one who wants to feel like a princess. She wants to feel elegant, timeless, chic, yet with a little bit of the modern twist as the fabric sort of drapes that bodice. I have countless dresses in store that mimic this look and it's been so many years since her wedding. It still has that Renaissance Bridgerton inspired kind of look from the corset bodice to the drop waist, but it's still minimalistic and chic in the sense that there isn't too much floof involved as well. And I think that just all the design elements of her dress really speak for themselves. She recently wore this again for a magazine shoot. This is a, a classic style that has not dated very much. So moving forward, this is definitely something that will always be in fashion. Thanks for tuning in to Designer Dresses Deconstructed. We will see you next time.